You know, one thing we like to do on a show like this is showcase new products so you not only know what's out there, but you know how well it works. For example, a while back we did some testing on these little E3 spark plugs to see if we could figure out what was going on with this strange looking plug. What we found was better fuel economy and better performance. But better fuel economy and performance in a stock engine is one thing. What all of us hot rodders want to know is what happens when you put a set of these into a performance or racing engine? Do they burn up? Do they work? Do they do anything? Well, the only way to find out is to go to a performance engine builder and put these little suckers to the test. So that is exactly what we did. Our journey took us to Roger Williams of Williams Precision Engines. Roger's a well-known engine builder in Indiana who not only races cars himself, but also builds high-performance street and racing engines for other racers. I got four racetracks within an hour from me, uh, where we're at. And it's uh, absolutely, this is the heartland uh, of America. Racing sprint cars are, are thick in, in Indiana. And inside the shop, you'll find his crew putting together everything from 1,000 horsepower alcohol motors to John Deere tractor engines. No doubt about it, this is the perfect place to run a real-world test on the E3 spark plug. Yes, Roger is working with us on some testing with some race environments, which today we don't have a program, but something we're looking at. And what he's really trying to do is see if he can break the plug uh, so that we can find out the tolerances and where, what we have to do to make it work in those more harsh environments. But yeah, today all, we were out there testing just a regular plug that you're going to find in the auto parts store. Okay, Roger. Steve's not here. What do you think about these plugs, really? I think it's a, a great investment. Um, for no more than what a set of plugs cost, you can pick up horsepower and torque. I don't know what more you could ask for. The first step was to make a series of runs using a conventional style plug. Then swap in some E3 plugs and make some more runs. Yeah, but right there, 448, 448, there's four tenths of a horsepower difference uh, <laughs> at uh, 5,500 RPM on those last two poles. These are plugs that just came out of that engine. You see, they're burning good. Now comes the moment of truth. In a direct comparison to a conventional plug in a 400 horsepower street engine, how does the E3 plug stack up? Well, the most significant thing in my opinion is the, the gain in torque yeah. at uh, 3,700 RPM, right where the converter uh, just takes a hold and starts pulling. We, we jumped from a 428 up to a 435. That's, that, that's significant, you know, that's yeah. worth it. That's you awesome. Know. Yeah, I think everyone's trying to get that, every bit of efficiency they can. You know, yeah. Whether it's a little better fuel efficiency, a little more horsepower, you know, if a fresher set of plugs can give you that, why wouldn't you? 